Welcome to my channel, Aligning for My Soul. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for all your love and support and comments and for taking the time to actually comment. It does mean everything to me and to hear your stories, it makes it very comforting because it makes me feel that <clears throat> I'm connecting with people in the same or similar situation and um, it makes you feel not so alone and that you're not going crazy. So thank you so much for taking the time to comment. Um, I hope you guys are well and coping with whatever's going on in your life at the moment. Um, the energies are very intense still, so I hope you're coping with that. Um, if you are new, this channel is for people that are in some kind of separation or challenge with their twin flame. And when I say separation, I mean preparation, because you are one soul. Um, so you're never separate, you're just not with a physical person, and you're both concentrating on your spiritual journey, so you can come back as one. Um, so I hope that helps you some way, it really does comfort me looking at it like that. And I'm um, currently in the process of aligning with my soul, and it's about me sharing my ups and downs and what energy I'm in and um, how my story unfolds and how it began about me exposing myself more and sharing that and helping you guys that are in a similar situation to me and it's about masculine I do a masculine oracle card readings to see the energy of what's going on with the masculine because it's usually the feminine that's drawn to watch this kind of video um, because you'll be the positive polarity the conscious one so and I know we <laughs> how important it is to the feminine to know what's going on with the masculine energy um, because sometimes you just don't know what's going on and um, you just need some kind of guidance and support and um, to help you have that trust on this journey that you're on so um, and it's about just connecting with people that, like I said in a similar the same situation with me and just helping you guys are watching and helping myself at the same time and um, hopefully today there's going to be a message of what's going on with your masculine. I've um, decided just to use, go for one card today because um, I'm going to make it a bit shorter because my readings recently have been quite long so I just wanted to make it a bit shorter and <coughs> I'm really interested to see what is going on with the masculine because my energy is all over the place again at the moment. So um, I'm interested to see what card comes out. I did ask for God's blessing and guidance before I did this reading. Um, and I do use the term God, so if you don't like me using the word God, um, just click off. But it's where I am on my journey. I'm, I'm proud to use the word God. So... And if I say feminine, masculine, it is just energy and labels. Um, I realise that it's just easier for me to say and for you to understand. So please don't be offended if I say he, her, he, she. Um, <laughs> just put it into your circumstance and how it resonates to you. So, right, let's see what wants to come out today for the masculine energy. Recently, there has been a lot of progress a group of masculines that I'm tapping into. Um, even though some of you might be watching, could be thinking, oh, I can't see anything that's changed or actions, whatever we can't see, we just don't know what's going on. Um, it's an illusion. If you're seeing negative stuff that's going on in the 3D, it's just an illusion you have to see past that. There's more to this that's going on behind the scenes. Um, it's about testing your faith and your trust. So if you haven't had any action or anything that's happened, any different, you just keep going and keep trusting and handing and surrendering this to God. Um, so let's see. Oh, that one flipped out, so I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> right about your thoughts and feelings. So your masculine... Let's read what the message says before. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessings and healing. So, writing about your feeling. Your masculine could be writing about his feelings in some way and his thoughts about how he's feeling towards you. 
and this helps him. Um, he's getting the wisdom, and he's. We know that this masculine, these masculines have got their heart chakras open, and they're feeling this intense love for you. Um, and by writing it down, he's feeling, it, which helps him in some way to express um, how he's, you know, to get out of him and what he wants to say. So by writing down, he could be thinking about writing you a letter or writing a journal every day about his thoughts and feelings because he's connecting with himself and he's listening to his intuition because the last reading we did, he is actually trusting and he knows this is the real deal that he feels with you. He's not running anymore. Um, so he could be thinking about writing to you, writing it down or being in contact with you about how he's feeling um, or being creative and writing things down in some way like poems or music. Um, but this definitely helps this masculine um, free himself from all the feelings that he's having and the thoughts he has towards you and um, it is quite healing for um, the masculines to be able to do that and in the card you've got the masculine you've got the feminine and the masculine is like surrendering to <laughs> this situation so let's see what the uh, guidebook says on this right about your feelings we get this quite a lot for these masculines because there's they're very creative um, and this is the only way that he can release and express himself at the moment so that's what he could be doing but at the moment he's you know if your masculine hasn't come forwards and spoken his truth or been in touch with you he's doing it you know he's writing about his thoughts and feelings in some way for himself or he could be writing a letter to you like I said right let's see additional message is 88 which is good 88 right this card indicates that you're confused by conflicted feelings and are unsure which direction to go in Archangel Michael will help you delve into your emotions peeling away the layers in order to reach your inner core of the truth it guides you to write down everything you're thinking or feeling without editing or censoring your words. Keeping a private journal will enable you to gain insights into the nature of what you generally desire. This clarity will illuminate the steps you need to take next. So by writing his thoughts and feelings down in a journal to you, um, gives him insights of you know what he actually wants and what steps he, he's got to take next and God and God's angels are helping him to um, write his feelings down and to be creative in some way because then he's this confused um, emotion and the conflict he's having you know with his higher self and his in, and what's going on in 3d with his ego and everything it gets very confusing and causes conflict and makes him feel unsure about which direction to go in. So he's, you know, sometimes what happens as well, you you can, you know, with the energy with yourself and how what you experience. In one day you could be in an energy where you feel really positive and you know you you're on the right path and you know what you're doing and you're feeling uplifted and positive. And then some, you sometimes you do take steps back. So your masculine at the moment could have taken some steps back um, because there's still some layers and emotions that he's, that he's you know he needs to re to release that need to be sorted out um, so by writing things down and making you know everybody knows that when you write down things that you've got so much on your mind even if it's just a list of things that you've got to do it makes you feel so much lighter, you don't feel such a weight on your shoulders, you, you feel like you've cleared your mind of it, you've written it down, so this is, he's been guided to actually do this um, and express himself in that way, so, um, and when he's able to do that, this is when the wisdom and the clarity comes of what he, you know, how to deal with this situation that's making him feel so uncomfortable, you know, 
that he's so afraid of. These masculines, you know, are very afraid. They're very afraid about these emotions and the confusion and about people that are involved with no, you know, um, about coming forwards towards you because boy, it's how it's going to affect other people. How you know he's had to work on things to do with self worth, self love. Um, he doesn't feel good enough for you, so all of these things could be coming back up again in your masculine to cause this confusion and conflict again about the right thing to do. Because before he speaks his truth, he needs to be at peace with himself because he wants to know that he's done. The, he wants to feel good enough. Otherwise, he's not going to be the true him he needs to be speak his truth be true to himself and then he can speak his truth to you he needs to be sure and not be confused um so he again even though this sounds negative you know he, that he could be uncomfortable and he's feeling like he's taking some steps back and there could be no action you're not seeing anything it's all good because it's stuff that still needs to be dealt with the same as you like i said if your energy one day is <clears throat> yes, yes, everything's fine and you understand and you're, you're you're in a good energy, you feel like you can face anything and you feel really strong. And then another day you can feel, or even in, in the same day, the energy can change and you can feel really low and confused again. And that's, to be fair, the energy that I'm in today is where I feel I'm having conflict with my higher self and my ego my ego is feeling like it's really kicking off today and i can't make sense of any of what's going on and you just feel like oh i can't be doing with this spiritual journey so <laughs> your masculine is feeling that um where he is having conflict again and, and confused but by writing he's been encouraged to write his feelings and thoughts down and for some of you out there only for some you could be receiving a letter or some kind of contact in some way where he's, he's going to express his feelings and his truth. Um, but he is still releasing layers and peeling away layers of things that need to be sorted out so he can speak his truth. So that's the energy he's in at the moment. Um, he now does know what he desires. Um, but it's about, in, this, in the 3D, you know it's so difficult because you do know what you desire but it's so difficult to get through the os obstacles and challenges that you have to face it's so uncomfortable and it's very hard for this masculine to be able to do this at this particular time so as you know yourself you've had to get through obstacles and challenges and you still probably are things because you know this twin flame journey or your spiritual journey isn't straightforward it's always so confusing and so complicated because the whole purpose of the twin flame journeys as well is about changing old templates and making a change and making in in on the planet you know helping the p people and about changing the way they think and changing the way things are it doesn't have to be a set way of what society says it is so having to change that you know yourself um is challenging and it's hard to get through those obstacles sometimes or climb that mountain um and that's how i feel it is very challenging um, and sometimes, like you said, the energy is very refreshing and you feel like you can climb any mountain and you feel like you can um, take on any challenge and get through all the obstacles and stuff. And then some days you just can't make sense of any of it and you can't see the point because you're living in the 3D and what's going on, you're just like, oh, I don't fit in and it doesn't make sense. Why is this happening to me? Um, and you just want to be have a comfortable life. and. <laughs> this is going to make this energy your masculine's in is it feels that he's going to not he's going to come out of his comfort zone he's not going to be comfortable he's got to go through this uncomfortableness and being you know he's so afraid so holding back 
how he's feeling towards you just seems to be easier at the moment for him and um, God is supporting and guiding him to try and write down his thoughts and um, um, feelings because this, you know, your masculines might not have been able to talk to anybody about how he's feeling or how he hasn't expressed this and it needs to come out in some way. So this could be the start of him if he actually writes it down and stuff, how he's feeling or he's keeping a journey of how he's feeling each day about you or the situation. Um, it's helping him just feel more free instead of having all of it inside and for him to have this awareness of how he's feeling, all these different emotions, how he's feeling. And you might as well be, um, you might write down how your feelings and your thoughts about how you're feeling each day in a, in, a, in a journal. So, as I said, it does help when you write things down to clear your mind. Um, so, I hope that helps you in some way to understand. Um, and I've explained it to you where you have an understanding of what's going on and for me to share about how I'm feeling and how you know this journey is so up and down where you can feel so on top of the world and so peaceful and then other times you can just feel so you just think oh what's the point and you can't <laughs> You just don't know, you just can't be bothered with it and you just want to be comfortable, you just haven't got the energy to keep going and I understand that and the person that's watching today, if you're feeling like I've just about had enough, you know, what's going on with my masculine, I just, I can't be bothered with him, <laughs> with him or her, um, I can't be bothered to do this anymore, I just want a peaceful life, I can't do this anymore. Um, and you're out of energy, I understand that. Because it is so different. It's so difficult sometimes because it, it's so different, this relationship. It's not a straightforward relationship. It's so difficult. Um, but the only advice I can give you is what I try and do most of the time <laughs> is to focus on yourself and not keep focusing on the physical person don't focus on the physical person because it's not about the physical person um, you're one soul and whatever you're feeling and whatever's going on with you your energy is going to your masculine so the more you're taking care of yourself and concentrating on looking after yourself and your well-being and what you want out of life and pleasing yourself and doing things that you love you're helping your masculine um, but that is so difficult, I'm not saying it's easy, it is difficult not to think about the physical person because you love that person so much and no one understands how much you love them and you feel this unconditional love and you've never, nobody's ever made you so angry as well with the different emotions, you feel so triggered by them and it's so uncomfortable sometimes. But it's not an ordinary relationship, it's not the same as if you're with your soulmate. It's having a relationship with yourself and that's what you've got to realize your one soul and the more you can look after yourself and put yourself first and not allow or put up with have unconditional love for yourself not put up with people's behaviors or that's not serving you anymore um, just draining yourself and giving your energy away to everybody and not looking after yourself that's not good you've got to make time for yourself and love yourself and deal with things and accept things about yourself and feel comfortable within yourself and when you're doing that that is when your that energy is going towards your masculine and that's helping him heal things that need to be healed inside him so he feels worthy so he feels worthy of your love so then he can speak his truth and come towards you. So I hope I've un I, um, have explained that okay for you and you understand. Um, so let's see what energy is in. 
as well. We know that he's in a bit of conflict and confusion at the moment of um, what he's doing, and he's having to. He's been guided to write things down <clears throat> while he's releasing all these layers that need to be released that aren't serving him anymore. Let's see. Energy is feeling about your relationship. He's heartbroken. He has been feeling heartbroken. That's the energy he's in at the moment. <sighs> because he wants this situation sorted out just as much as you do. He wants to be free from this situation. He misses you. He wants to come and speak his truth. So he's feeling heartbroken. <laughs> What else is the energy he's feeling towards you? Strength. He wants strength. He wants to have more strength so he can come towards you. He wants the strength to come towards you. He's asking for strength. He's trying to find that strength in amongst all these different things that are going on with him that's making him feel uncomfortable. He does want that strength to come towards you. Um, because he's heartbroken that he's not able to speak his truth towards you. So I'm going to see what he would like to communicate with you. What is the communication? What would he say to you in the 3D if you had the chance? And what is he saying in the 5D? I'm always reminded of you, yeah. So, you know, as I've said before, he's not... God and God's angels are protecting and assisting your masculine and he's not he has been put into a corner. There's no running. He might not be coming towards you yet, but there's no running from this situation and there's things that are being put in place purposely or situations where he cannot get away from thinking about you, feeling about you know, feeling this love for you and just being reminded of you and this is what he'd say I'm always reminded of you he's always been reminded of you wherever he goes whatever he's doing it could be about, you know your name or songs things that you did together um, certain phrases and stuff like that so many things um, and um, <laughs> God is putting that in place where he can't run from this anymore he's literally got to face these feelings and um, feel it because he can't brush this under the carpet anymore and you know he is heartbroken and feeling uncomfortable let's see what else he would communicate if he had the chance be interesting that one popped in my hand so that one really wants to come out I'm in a lot of pain and it takes me to the ground. Yeah, he's in a lot of pain. But this is, you cannot make this stuff up when you're doing card readings. Everything unfolds and everything makes sense. As the, You know, this is like a story unfolding and it just makes sense. You know, I've just picked both of those out and he's heartbroken and it's just said, I'm in a lot of pain and it takes me to the ground. So he's not in a comfortable place. He's not in a good place. It is a good place because it's positive because he's shifting stuff and it's making him uncomfortable and he's got to deal with it and he's got to shred these layers of different things that aren't serving him anymore. So even though I'm saying to you he's uncomfortable, he's in a lot of pain and um, he's heartbroken, it's all good because all of this is for a purpose, it's all for a reason, because it's pushing him coming to come towards you closer, and every day he's getting closer and closer to coming towards you, or getting closer to closer to becoming one again. But it's not a beautiful, smooth journey when you're on your spiritual journey, when you're on your twin flame journey, it's not smooth. There's things that have to, are challenging, there's obstacles that you have to get through. Um, so that's what he would say to you if he had the chance so he is in a lot of pain and you could be in a lot of pain you're both in a lot of pain of whatever is going on individually when you're because you know, you're not with the physical person um, so all the 
thing, the only thing I can say is if you can find it in you to have compassion and send loving healing towards your masculine and to talk to your masculine, to encourage him, to tell him that you love him. Um, the same as you talk to God if you, when you pray, talk to your masculine and it's freeing you as well from how you're feeling. Talk to him about how you're feeling as well. Um, so yeah, he's not in a comfortable place, so send some loving healing towards him and try and find some compassion, whatever the circumstances are. And I know that some of your circumstances are very painful and very challenging. So, but the most important thing is take care of yourself and concentrate on yourself and look after yourself and then you're helping your masculine anyway. So. Now I'm going to get a card for the person that's watching to bring forth your beautiful, divine, inner spirit. So it's what God wants you to know to help you on your spiritual journey and you know, what you need to know today to keep your strength up and to keep you focused. Because you could be in a place today where you're feeling where you just about had enough and what you need to hear today. Um... Let's see. Nice clear message for the person that's watching. Things God. What is the message today that we need to hear? Uh, let's see. Divine creation. Hmm. The message is, the idea you are thinking of is of divine creation. It can only bring happiness and joy and never doubt it will bring anything less. It's, a be it's beautiful. Congratulate yourself on this connection to your divine inner spirit and move forth beautifully with your new project. Action to take. Move forward on this amazing new venture and, you, and know that everything is being divinely taken care of. Take any necessary steps you feel will help you move forward towards your goals. Be open to many miracles and positive experiences. All the right people and all the circumstances will arrive and adjust to the right time for you. Do not doubt it. Trust in the universe for always supporting you. And the affirmation is, I am a beautiful and radiant divine being of light and my creation creates so much joy around the planet. There you go. I said about the planet, we make a change to the planet this twin flame journey so, so so this message to me is there could be an idea that you're thinking about doing that could be nothing to do with your mask and just to do it yourself and you know maybe your next project or your, something to do with your career stuff um trust that you're being divinely guided and um this is the perfect time and go ahead of it you're being protected the other way to me this is coming across is you know the idea that you're thinking about your divine masculine um, and that this new adventure this new life this new beginning that you're wanting to have with him it is being perfectly guided and um, trust it and trust yourself and move to, you know and believe and move forth towards it trust in it know it, it you're on the right path know that it is um, about divine timing and it's meant to be this is meant to happen for you to meet your masculine and for you to be together um, and it's a beautiful it is a beautiful divine creation and by you being together you are going to make a difference to the planet and create so much joy not for your, just for yourselves, for everything that is around you as well. So don't hold back. Move towards it. Um, and know that everything is, you're being divinely guided. Everything is going to work out. Everything is going to be okay. And be open to miracles and positive experiences because this is meant for you. Um, <clears throat> If you're not feeling that 
message, but I've, the second message, um, you know, I would say the first message as well is uh, is about if you're thinking about creating or you're working on a new pro project or you want to do something to do with your career that's new or you've had this idea, it is perfect timing and you've been divinely guided and to trust um, yourself and congratulate yourself for this new <coughs> divine creation that you're thinking about so either way this is very positive and just take it how it resonates to you but you're being guided and shown today God wants you to know that whatever um, this divine creation how you see it in your eyes it could be a, it could be this new adventure this new life that you have with your masculine or it could be to do with your career or something you're thinking about starting a new um, creation is being supported and expect miracles and positive experience from it and take action about it don't have doubt trust in it um with it because everything is going to work out and it's going to be helping others around you um and like i've said i said it a few times in this reading shining your light um and your twin flame journey is about changing and helping people on the planet, making the, the world a better place. About breaking the old <clears throat> templates and showing that things don't have to be a certain way. You can be, it's okay to be different and you can be have different relationships. It doesn't have to be a certain way. Love is love. And... Um, that's the most important thing. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a set way. And that's where we have to change things on the planet at the moment. And my, um, is, on my journey is about changing the old templates about that you have to be with somebody that's just the same age. Um, and, because my masculine's 21 years younger than me. So that's been my challenge. And then there's not that isn't just one challenge. I've had lots of challenges and I'm still being challenged with it. So um, it's about changing templates, old templates, and whatever it is that you're thinking of, divine creation. You know your relationship and your future that you're wanting with your masculine is divine creation. It's perfect and everything's going to be okay. You're being supported a hundred percent. And what it is, and if you're not thinking about this creation in as your masculine, it whatever it is you're thinking of, um, you only know that it's been supported, and it's the right thing to do and enjoy it, and celebrate it, and move forwards, and trust that everything's going to be okay. So um, this reading has gone on a bit again, actually, and I only did one card for the masculine, but. Obviously, a lot wanted to come out that God's channeling through me today that I needed to get out and express. So I hope that I've helped you in some way, have some understanding and given you the strength to keep carrying on your spiritual journey and your twin flame journey and to keep trusting and to have faith. And when it's the right time, divine timing, what you're wanting from your masculine will be revealed to you. Um, so I hope that's helped you I did enjoy doing this reading I was a bit nervous about doing the reading today because of how I'm feeling the, how the energy is affecting me feeling not as positive as normal and feeling a bit oh, with my journey but I'm glad I, I did it and um, it's helped me as well as I'm helping you so um, I hope you enjoyed it and it's helped you and I'll do a reading in a couple of days time to see what's going on with your masculine to see if there's any more progress um if you do hear or get a letter or anything happens with your masculine let me know or if there's something you want to express to me i love to have comments from you um and to help in some way so if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to subscribe because it'll mean uh, the world to me and make me very excited and like this video if you liked it 
Um, and I'm sending you all my love, support and light. And I'm thinking of you guys. Take care of yourself. Bye. Oh, that's your soul saying.